All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today we're going to be talking about the Dive Into Water Festival Beach Week. Now, this is the next event coming up, and it does start tomorrow, Tuesday, June 6th at 10 a.m., and finishes Monday, June 12th at 8 p.m. Um, this po basically, this event is to show off the new Pokemon, which is Sandagast, and also its evolution of Palisand. Um, these are new debut Pokemon. Um, Sandagast can evolve into Palisand with 50 candy, so that's not really bad. You get the ones that are like three, 400 candy, which are a pain. Like Lovesta, you can only get them from eggs and you only get like 12 candy per one. Bit of a pain. So, a global challenge will take place during this event. Work with trainers around the world to throw free 100 million knife rows to unlock the bonuses for all trainers for the remainder of the event. Now, this usually does happen quite quick. There's usually a lot of people playing the game, so... Um, the bonuses we'll get is increased candy for nice, great and excellent throws and increased chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive XL candy for successfully catching a Pokemon with a nice, great or excellent throw. Not, not a bad bonus to be honest for a free, like for getting it for free. Um, so let's have a look at what Pokemon we are going to encounter. So... These are the wild encounters during this event. So we do have Tentacool, Shelder, Krabby, Alone and Executor, Horsey, Staryu, Marl, Wingull, Whalmer, Sveal, Finneon, Dwebble, Frillish, and Clauncher. Um, and then the rare spawns that you might find is Mantine and Poplio. Um, most of them can be shiny, I believe. Yeah, all of them can be shiny except for Poplio, which I'm guessing we'll get a um, com day soon to enable its shiny sorry there's the rare spawns um but it is going to be a decent event i'm trying to see which pokemon we could get as mega um don't actually think there's any megas here nope unfortunately there is no megas here which is a shame but we do have an alone ex executor and they're really difficult to get shiny so We've only had the one event, I believe, that you could evolve an executor, uh, ex execute, sorry, execute, to evolve into a lone executor. So definitely worth trying to find that as a shiny. Um, field research task. Now this is where I'm actually really happy they brought something back. So the following Pokemon will be available to encounter when you complete field research task: Lapras wearing a scarf, Frillish, Vinacle, Clauncher, and Sandigas. So. The two Pokemon I'll be looking for most will be Lapras and then Sandigast. The Lapras wearing a bow is a really difficult one to get as a shiny. I believe it's the same one that we just had from the research task and you can only encounter one. So this is really good that they're bringing it back. Um, and then also Sandigast, which is the new Pokemon. So get as, as much candy for that as possible. Complete cert certain field research tasks to earn Mega Energy for the following Pokemon, which is Blastoise and Swampert. Um, I do already have these maxed out. I believe I've only got one Swampert. It is getting there, though, for the other one, so I'm not really too bothered about this. But if you guys did miss out on these raids, definitely, definitely try and get yourself some Mega Energy to evolve at least one, then you can walk it to get the energy you need. So, the Spotlight Hour. To celebrate the Water Festival, an event-themed Spotlight Hour will run on Tuesday, June 6th from 6 till 7. That is tomorrow. The following For the following Pokemon below, Spotlight Hour will include three times XP bonus for catching Pokemon. Always a good thing to get more EXP if you can get it on something where there's more spawns, and Spotlight Hour is definitely the case to do that. So you have Krabby, Kabuto, Corfish, Clauncher, and Cabrola. All okay Pokemon, definitely worth um, doing that event just for the e EXP itself. Um, event bonuses, we will get four times rainy lore duration, so I can't remember what that be, but that kind of sounds like it's two hour laws. If so, that's really good. Um, for $5, you'll be able to access the event theme time research, complete the research to earn the surfer pose. 
I'm not too bothered about that. I will have to have a look at um, what this actually does from an encounter point of view. However, the last time I did this, I didn't really get the reason why they bought it out for five dollars slash five pound. Um, however, they're doing this again. Please note the time research expires. The time research tasks and their rewards disappear on Monday, June twelfth. So if you don't play for the week, you lose it. This really annoys me because you're paying you're paying for this. So if you bought this and couldn't play for whatever reason, um, say you were busy working or you had a family emergency or anything like that, you couldn't do this, it would just vanish and you wouldn't be able to get your money back. So definitely not worth it in that case. This needs to stop and stop soon. Um, the ticket will only be available in the game shop from Tuesday, June 6th to Saturday, June 11th. So... On that note, I'm probably, I am probably will buy it just to give the content out to you guys, but I don't recommend getting it. I will go over a full overview once I have it completed, and I will put a video up of it soon. So, let's go over the raids that will be happening during this event. So, one star raid, you have Alolan Diggler, Hisuian, Quillfish, Carvana, Feebas, and Sandigast. An easy way to get in Sandigast and it's 50 candy. So, 3 star raids, you do have Blastoise, Gyarados, Lapras wearing a scarf, and Alola Mola. If you don't have the Lapras, this is a great way of using one of your free passes for the week to try and get a shiny one. But, as long as you get the one costume, it's like a collector's item. So, definitely worth doing one of your raid passes for that. So, where I am, um, Mesprit is currently out. However, in Asia, you get Uxi and... In the Americas and Greenland, you get as elf. All not worth it. All a Pokedex item. And then the Mega Raids that are currently going on is Mega Swampert. Very good Pokemon. However, kind of um, only good for the Hoenn event. Because you got both of the 5 star raids. With like more candy, more XL candy, that kind of thing. But, it's still a good Pokemon to have. Um... But is overshadowed by Primal Kyogre if you do have one. And Primal Groudon. And then there's a fo this following um, outfit change which I'm not really going to get into. So overall not a bad event. A lot of bonuses can be found and collected together. So I do think this is going to be a fun event. Very happy that two new Pokemon have been released for this event. And I cannot wait to get it done. Um, if I do end up buying the research I will... Definitely show a video on what it got and say if it's good enough for the $5 or not. So, thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel and I will speak to you all in the next one.